Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting a new series called Teaching Tuesdays. We're gonna share tips, tricks, and things you should know about raising goats, chickens, ducks, geese, all the different stuff that we have here on the farm. So our first video today, we're gonna to be talking about baking soda as well as goat minerals for your goats. So these are two very um, controversial but important topics that we should talk about. So I say controversial for a very specific reason. Baking soda is not controversial in and of itself, but leaving it free range is. So why is baking soda important? So baking soda is important because it not only helps keep the rumen or basically the goat's stomach uh, pH balanced, but it can also help aid in digestion. And the big reason that you're gonna have baking soda for your goats is to help with bloat. Now bloat is a deadly condition in goats that is caused by overeating and it can be caused by eating the wrong types of food like if they get a hold of chicken feed. And baking soda helps neutralize that and stop any issues from coming about. The other topic is minerals or goat minerals. This stuff uh, you can get at your local feed store or you can get online. We get it in a large bag, but I don't know, a couple pounds. This will last you for a long time though. No. This stuff may look weird, but it has a lot of important minerals and vitamins in it to include potassium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, and uh, among a ton of other types of minerals. These are important for them because goats are used to rummaging around and getting lots of different types of food. Well, they don't do that in most farms like ours. They're giving alfalfa and Bermuda, and that's pretty much it. They'll you know, scavenge around the yard if we let them out, but they don't get a whole lot of variety in their diet. So these minerals help supplement uh, that alfalfa and Bermuda to get all of the extra stuff that uh, they don't normally get in their diet. Now for the uh, touchy subject, uh, whether to leave it free range or give it as needed. So the minerals is a pretty easy one. It, it won't hurt to give them the minerals free range. They will eat it as they need. And especially if they already have goat grains, like if they're in milk or uh, and, and getting goat grains when they're being milked, they don't really need it per se. So it's not a really a big deal and it, it won't cause them any issues. The baking soda on the other hand, um, they can eat too much of it. So you do have to watch it and be careful. If they're eating a ton of baking soda, you need to take it away and, and adjust how much is free range in there. People say don't free range because they, they don't want to overeat the, the baking soda, but you really just need to, to watch it and be careful how much they eat. So for me, I use this handy dandy feeder. So we use this two feeding element uh, boxing uh, for our minerals and our baking soda. This thing, uh, well first of all, links below in the description if you need something like this. They're like 13 bucks, not bad. And then we go ahead and zip tie it to the fence. Um, and then we put our baking soda and minerals in this thing. That way they free range. We've kind of put it next to their food. They can get it as needed. And uh, especially if you do it when they're young, they get used to it and that's what they're, they're used to. And so they won't overeat the baking soda or the minerals uh, and they only eat it as needed. So like with anything else with goats, just make sure you keep an eye on them. Make sure that you watch their, their eat, you know, how much of this baking soda and minerals they are eating uh, because they can overeat it and that could be bad. What is worse though is bloat. Um, we mentioned it earlier, that is when they eat the wrong thing and the most common thing is to get chicken food because people who have goats also have chickens. So if they eat chicken feed, they will start bloating up. So uh, make sure to keep their chicken feet out and make sure they baking soda it just in case they do. So if you need any baking soda, minerals, or any of those feeders, make sure to check out the link below in the description as well as the pinned post. And make sure to join us next week for another Teaching Tuesday.